Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm Phil Hall for BusinessSuperstore.com, and I'm supposed to be delivering a speech later this evening. Giving speeches is not one of my favorite activities. You know something, I really shouldn't be afraid of giving a speech because when you come down to it, it's not all that difficult if you prepare. Here's some advice. First thing, don't improvise a speech. Unless you're a knockout stand-up comic who loves to do improv, it's good to have notes, maybe not the full text of the speech, but an outline of what you're going to be speaking about. This way you don't lose your train of thought mid-sentence. Second thing, you have to remember the people who come to see the speech want to see you. They're not there to diss you or throw eggs and rotten tomatoes at you. They're there to listen to what you have to say. They're going to root you on. You've got a sympathetic audience, so don't be nervous how people look at you, because they're looking at you rather positively. And third, I found in giving speeches, try to be as conversational as possible. Just make believe the podium and the microphone's not there, and you're just having a conversation with a friend of yours at the bar or a colleague at the office. Maybe you need to speak up a little louder to fill the room so they can hear you what you're saying in the back row, but just speak to the people the way you'd speak to any person. Don't be the whole formal declamation contest type of speech. People don't really like that. So, you know, at the end of the day, when you have to give the speech, it's not such a painful thing after all. I'll see you later. I've got to practice mine. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I think that'll work. Peace out.